thing, even though the gospel starts with repent, what brings people to Jesus is a promise of rest. King David said this about him. I see that the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and my tongue shouts his praise. My body rests in hope. The past few days, the Lord has been reminding me, and I I just want to tell you really quickly, the Lord has been reminding me of how I started living the way I live. And it was not with a firm word of repentance. It was an invitation into rest. And I didn't know what he was talking about. I just said yes, because I have fear of the Lord. And I knew God was in my house. But I did not immediately start buzzing and laying hands on people and miracles happening. That started happening much later. I started learning how good he is and how much I can trust him. How wonderful he is. And how wonderful he is showed me how not wonderful I am. And so I began to repent. I probably laid on my hardwood floor for three to four months, a lot of the day, repenting of my sin. I'm just telling you what what happened. And then his presence began to come on me. And I began to buzz (laughs) and vibrate. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying I did. And then a Muslim lady was healed at a garage sale. And then uh, meeting with a Hindu priest's wife in Kroger and ending up going in their home and God doing miracles. And they'll literally call with their prayer list. And then my son got healed. And then more people got healed. And then more people were getting delivered. And like God's calling out words in the services and things that we could never know. He just makes known. But that's not how it all started. It started with a promise of rest. And I was so stressed (laughs) that I said, I'll take it. (laughs) It all started for me with a promise of rest. Not success. (laughs) Rest. And I started thinking, oh, wow, that's how this whole thing started for everybody. They come and see these people so joyful, so full of the Spirit. Peter didn't draw a crowd by yelling, repent. That is the gospel. How did Jesus do it? He was was just walking rest. He was so much rest that he would say, come to me, and I will give you rest. He, made a, he gave a promise of rest, and then they came with their diseases, and he would touch them and heal them, and they'd bring their kids, and he would hold their children. People got addicted to him. So when he said, lay your life down, they did. You mean my life of stress, striving for success, just to follow you around and be provided for? Yes. 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 And here we see again a promise of rest, a promise of peace, a promise of joy, a a promise so loud that everybody came running to it. Not everybody wanted it. Because to enter it, there has to be repentance. And not everybody wants to repent. They might want a miracle, but they don't really want to repent. But I'm just saying, even though the gospel starts with repent, what brings people to Jesus is a promise of rest. (sighs) Come to me, and I will give you rest. Most of the time, people have to have already decided they can't do it. (laughs) Most of the time, people are sort of at the end of their rope before they'll take him up on his offer. But I don't think that's going to be you. Say, that's not going to be me. Peace looks great. I think I'll take it now. Okay. Okay.